Hey guys, Pedwin here, and today I'm going to show you how you can catch every legendary fish in Stardew Valley. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my setup, some tips and tricks, and where to find them all. So the uranium rod is probably a 100% must have with every single one of these fish. And this fishing rod is unlocked at like level two, so it's not exactly hard to get. Um, it has a bait and a tackle feature built into the rod as well. The best tackle I would use for legendary fish in my opinion would be the trap bobber, which essentially slows down the fish's escape when you're not reeling it in. So it limits the amount it can go crazy and jump up and down. It doesn't stop it completely, but it's probably the best tackle for the legendary fish. It is recommended you have level 10 fishing, but this is not needed. All of the fish in this video are caught with level 11 fishing by using the trout soup that you can buy from Willy. If you're having a lot of difficulties, you can cook the dish of the sea. This will crank you up to three levels, making you have level 13 fishing, which will make catching these legendary fish a walk in the park. The next thing I want to tell you about is how you can identify these legendary fish. When you first hook the fish, just take a quick look at the fish, and if it has a crown on its head, you know it's a legendary. One more thing you might find useful is if you're catching a fish that you know isn't a legendary and you don't mind discarding it, what you can do is press E and it will immediately discard that fish and you can begin catching another. Alrighty, so now we've got the setup and the tips out of the way, time to show you where you can catch these awesome legendary fish. So the first fish we're going to be focusing on is the legend fish and this is caught at the bottom of the lake in spring. You kind of have to just cast it into the log. This is probably the hardest fish to catch, mainly because you have to wait until it's raining before you can even attempt it. And if you get really unlucky, you cannot even have like rain in spring, it's absolutely crazy. So with that in mind, make sure whenever it's raining in spring, you at least try this fish. And make sure you do it before 10pm, because after 10pm, you cannot catch this fish. This fish might be the most rarest fish, but it's also the most expensive. If you catch this and decide to sell it off, you can get 15,000 coins. Insane! Alright, so I'm going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this catch, and then I'll move on to the next fish. You can click the annotation to skip. So the second legendary fish that we're going to be catching is the crimson fish. The crimson fish can only be caught in summer and it's caught on the right hand side of the beach. You do have to fix the bridge first though and that requires 300 wood. But you should be able to do that well within your first month. This fish isn't hard to catch but it is hard to find. Sometimes you can be looking for it for quite a little while but it doesn't require rain or anything so you should be able to catch this within summer relatively easy. This fish can be caught at any time of the day, it doesn't have a time limit, and also when you sell it, it will sell for about 2,000 gold. Once again, I'm going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this crimson fish catch. Up next we have the anglerfish and this is probably the easiest legendary to fish to catch out of all of them. This one is caught in fall and it's caught just north of the Jojama or east of the community center. And you don't really have to be too specific as long as you fish above the bridge you should be able to, to find it at least. And it's very very simple to catch and it doesn't have a time limit as well. 
as you can see in the video, the, the angler fish kind of just sat at the bottom for me. I don't know if this was a bug or if the fish is just this stupid, but we got it pretty fast in this one. And as one of the easier fish, it's also worth about a thousand coins as well, so not too good. The fourth fish on our list is the glacier fish, which is probably the, the second hardest in my opinion after the legend fish. This is caught during the winter time, and this is found at the bottom of the small island in the Sindasap forest. What you need to do is just go to the tip here and just fish as far out as possible. Though the weather doesn't affect this fish, you do have to make sure you catch this fish before 10pm. If you try and sell this fish, it will sell for roughly about a thousand. Once again, it's not that expensive compared to fish like the legend fish, which kind of sucks in my opinion, but whatever. Once again, I'm going to leave you guys to watch this. Press the skip button if you want to jump to the next one. So, last but not least, we've got the mutant fish. This can be caught in any season, within any weather, and at any time. The only thing you need for this is 60 artifacts. Gunther will come to your house after you've given him all the artifacts, and he will give you a sewer key. Once you've got that, just go into the sewers and, and get fishing. This fish isn't hard at all, it's very simple to catch, and it doesn't sell for much either. Only about a thousand, once again. So yeah, after this fish, that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every single legendary fish in Stardew Valley. I hope you, all you fish lovers out there really enjoyed it. I worked extra hard on this video to get this out for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. For bonus information about maps and other things, make sure you check out the description.